Welcome back to our channel. Recently, a South Korean research house has predicted that the Chinese display panel manufacturers will surpass South Korean companies, namely LG and Samsung, by 2025. Today, our senior analyst Dennis Chin will talk to us about the competition between China and South Korea in the display panel manufacturing industry. Dennis, how important is the OLED business for China and South Korea? The major applications of OLED panel are smartphone and TV display. OLED panel can be found in Samsung's high-end model mobile phones or in the iPhones. In 2019, South Korean company had a market share of 76% in the global smartphone OLED display business, while China only had 22%. Obviously, smartphones are a huge market, where display panel and memory chips are the two very important businesses for South Korean GDP. For China, it is about upgrading their manufacturing technology and put themselves into the technological race. Is it true that Chinese companies are aggressively trying to hire South Korean specialists in the field? Based on the information provided by the two South Korean headhunters, some Chinese companies supposedly offer annual salaries of 5 billion won, which equals to around 4.6 million US dollars to hire engineers who are currently working for LG and Samsung's OLED display panel business. If true, this would be a 10 times jump of what these engineers earn today. Definitely, it shows the ambitions of the Chinese payers' willingness to invest heavily in order to catch up and compete with the Korean payers. Many industry experts believe Chinese companies will repeat what they had previously done in the LCD panels area, the previous generation of technology, and might force South Korean companies to quit by launching a price war once they have built up the necessary know-how. What are the chances for the Chinese company to win, and who are they? Big players in China are BOE Technology and TCL Technology. However, I believe for now the chances of winning for the Chinese company is still low. The technological gap between South Korea and China is still around 5 years. For the Chinese company, it will be difficult to make a good profit even if they are able to catch up as the South Korean companies may already create the next generation of panel within the next 5 years. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and get updated on the latest happenings in China. Thank you and see you soon.